yesterday that I was going to talk on the subject of the public square today on the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. By the way, I'm your host. I'm Kurt, and today is Thursday, the 24th of March of 2022. Welcome to everyone who's here on Rumble, the podcast, YouTube, BitChute, CloudHub, my Facebook page. That would be the Kurt's Religion and Politics page on Facebook, um, Kurt's Religion and Politics.locals.com, um, on minds.com and my nds.com on the Kurtz Religion and Politics group there, if you happen to be finding me there, on Parlor, on Gab, on Twitter, wherever else you might be finding me today. Um, I'm going to talk today on the public square, it's true, but I'm going to talk about it from a different perspective than a lot of people. A lot of people, when they're talking about the public square, are talking about things like Facebook and things like that. I'm going to talk literally about what a lot of people count the public square or the courthouse square or any number of other things where people actually um, do various things and say various things and so forth that are that sort of was the beginning of that whole idea of the public square and I'm going to talk about it with regard to certain ideas that I think need to be discussed. Is it reasonable to have things like monuments containing the Ten Commandments or nativity scenes quote on the public square end of quote? The most relevant question is, who's paying for them to be there? If it's coming out of public money, it should not be allowed. I don't care what it's representing, I don't care. Another thing that ought to be asked is, do they in some wise hinder the actions of government? If not, who cares? Well, maybe those who are intent on seeing the laws be enforced, I suppose they might be in that boat of people who care. So our next query should be, is what's depicted legal? Forgive me, but that's probably not the case for sacrificing children to Moloch or Moloch or however you want to say it, either the act itself or statues or similar displaying or depicting such activity. That said, if we allow it for Christian symbols, for them to be put in the quote public square, a thing which, by the way, I completely agree, we must allow it for other beliefs that are legal, assuming it passes, they, the beliefs pass the test, tests already discussed. This idea that people shouldn't be allowed to place such things on public land uh, and that means government-owned as well, uh, assuming you can come up with a different definition for public, uh, is ludicrous. It's a ludicrous idea. Why does anybody assume a temporary or even ostensibly permanent display doing no harm to others should be banned or taken down? Yes, it's true. We have a responsibility to teach our children what we believe and why. That doesn't mean we have the right to keep others from doing likewise and supporting what they hold dear publicly, again, assuming it ma matches the aforementioned rules. So when you hear about people either legally fighting for the removal of a manger scene at Christmas or a plaque containing the Ten Commandments, you have to wonder why they believe it's reasonable to do that. Why do they think that? What are they thinking, right? Equally, when you hear about people defacing or destroying such things, please consider what we've discussed to this point. I don't care if I park my car in a parking lot in front of a government building, uh, whether or not it has a Muslim symbol in the window, Nobody has the right to, to destroy the symbol, much less to deface or destroy the automobile. If that's true, what makes you think it's any more reasonable to tear down or vandalize some symbol of faith or belief that exists or is erected, quote, according to the rules, end of quote? Um, I may not agree with Satanism. You can be assured, in fact, that I don't. With Islam, I don't. Or even completely with Judaism. I believe that the foundations of Judaism are all correct. I'm not saying that that means it ought to be practiced today as it was in times past. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, but I don't want to, quote, fight them by such measures. 
Rather, I want to discuss their merit or lack thereof and explain why what I believe and put forward is what I support, why that's the stuff that I go with. Does my statue of the Virgin, Virgin Mary affect your children? Maybe so, but you have the right to challenge what I believe and put out there where, uh, uh, put it out there, put what you're saying out there where your children are concerned. You can do that. It's okay. For the love of all that's decent, please do not go around harming and, uh, and destroying legal or otherwise correct expressions of belief. Don't do it. And while you're at it, stop seeking to get them barred legally if they don't break the law. I don't care who sets them up or whether I consider them correct in what they believe or not. In other words, if you say that a person is a Christian, and I look at them and I go, that's really not a Christian, but they set up that uh, that nativity scene, I don't really care who they are. It's a, you know, that's fine. We can talk about that in the public arena as well. We can talk about it in the public arena as well. Okay? Okay, done with my notes. Let's get on with things. Again, look, I try to make it so that my notes pretty clearly say what it is that I'm trying to get across. And so I think you can probably pretty well understand what it is that I'm trying to say. It's really very simple. Oh, you're a Muslim? You want to put some expression of your faith in the public square? Is it legal for you to do so? Are you harming anybody in the doing of it? Who's paying for it? If you're paying for it and it's not harmful for you to do it and it's legal for you to do it, why on earth would I seek to stop you? Oh, you're a Satanist. Same thing applies. I'm not saying I agree with you. I'm not saying that I'm not going to tear your butt down when it comes right down to talking about it. Because I am. I want you to know that. You're a Muslim. We have disagreements and we can talk about what they are if you want. But when it comes right down to it, you're still allowed your beliefs. This is the United States of America. We do that here. We do that here, okay? We allow people to have those beliefs. Even if I think they're dumb and wrong, you still get to have them. Oh, you're a breatharian? Fine. You think that you can survive without eating? Okay, fine. But guess what? If, you, if that's true for you, that doesn't explain why so very many people have starved to death without food. In my opinion, in my viewpoint, what you're saying is dumb if you're a breatharian. Sorry, that's just the reality. You can believe anything you want, though. You can believe that the moon is made of green cheese if you want to do that. I'm not trying to tell you to believe it or don't. I will say that it seems to me kind of odd that when the earth is made of rocks and dirt, uh, largely, that you think the, the, the moon is made of green cheese, but it's still your right to believe that if you want. And if you have a society that believes that and you want to put something on public land, that expresses or, or, or somehow shows your belief, great, great. That's totally within your rights as a human being, as far as I'm concerned. Again, if you're talking about sacrificing children to Moloch or Moloch, or however you want to pronounce that, I've seen it spelled and pronounced different ways, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not into the sacrificing children thing, but more importantly, sacrificing children is illegal, and I think probably the depiction of it is too just so you're aware. Maybe, you know, in certain instances you can make a case for it, but not in terms of trying to celebrate your uh, uh, intent to do so on the public square. I don't think that's something that you can count on. I don't know for sure that that's the case, but that would be my expectation at this point in my life. Uh, I, I'm willing to hear otherwise. By the way, I'm willing to hear that. But regardless, like I say, what I'm telling you anyway is if it's legal, if it's, if it's uh, not breaking any other rules or regulations, if it's not stopping government from doing its business, and if government is not paying for it, who the heck am I to complain about it? Now, I personally don't believe in lots of things like the Vietnam War memorials and so forth being paid for by the government. I don't think that's how that ought to work. But that all said, that really doesn't change whether or not they ought to be able to be out there in the public square with crosses and rosaries and satanic worship and whatever else you happen to believe, even if I don't agree with you. That's not how that's supposed to be considered. Okay, I'm, I'm 
rapidly running over my time, so let me go ahead and, and sign myself off here. This has been the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host, I'm Kurt, and today is the uh, Thursday the 24th, and right near that end of the week, obviously, of March of 2022. That means tomorrow will be Friday the 25th of March of 2022, which will be the beginning of the Sabbath at sundown tomorrow. So, um, you know, for those of you that celebrate the, or or observe it, that will be your time to do so, obviously, as far as I'm aware, unless somebody wants to correct me on that as well. Um, thank you for coming along on Rumble, on the uh, podcast, on YouTube, on BitChute, on CloudHub, on my Facebook page. That's the Kurtz Religion and Politics page on Facebook, on Kurtz Religion and Politics dot locals dot com on minds and my nds dot com on the Kurtz Religion and Politics group primarily there on uh, Parlor Gab and Twitter as well if you happen to see me in any of those places or anywhere else for that matter uh, the subject for today has been the public square tomorrow we're going to talk about politics and beliefs and I'm going to ask a question now and I want you to be thinking about this because obviously I'm going to talk about it later. Can you honestly believe that anybody really, truly separates those two things? For my part, I don't believe that's the case. Hope you're having a good day today. Hope everything is going well for you. And hopefully we will see you again on Friday's edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion. The speaker on this edition of the Daily Summation is Kurt Schumann. This podcast was created on Thursday, the 24th of March of 2022. The Daily Summation is created for Kurt's Religion and Politics. Thanks for watching today's edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. Don't forget to come back tomorrow uh, to check out the next one. Remember, on various platforms, primarily Rumble, YouTube, Big Shoot, and CloudHub, and the audio podcast, you can subscribe to my content. For the audio podcast, you probably want to use Apple, Google, or Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or Spotify. In order to find me on those platforms, you can go to the Kurtz Religion and Politics channels on Rumble, YouTube, BitChute, and CloudHub. You can also get to my content on Facebook by finding the Kurtz Religion and Politics page there, minds, M-I-N-D-S dot com, uh, you, where you will find me at the Kurtz Religion and Politics group, and Kurtz Religion and Politics dot locals dot com as well. You can look there. I post my daily video on various social media sites, really only about three, Parlor, Gab, and Twitter at present. I am at KP Schubert on each of them, and you can find me under them, and you can find the videos under me. Uh, you should be able to find my podcasts on Google and Apple Podcasts and Spotify. It's also on podcasts.kpshubert.com. That's podcasts with an S dot K-P-S-H-U-B-E-R-T dot com. Uh, if, if you're looking for me on various of the podcast sites, you probably want to search Kurtz Religion and Politics, not the Daily Summation. Keep in mind, you can subscribe to my content various on various places that I put it. Uh, all constructive feedback is welcome. You can like, dislike, add a rumble, or give whatever feedback is available on any of the platforms that you can do such things. You can add, also add a comment on what I put there. Unless you're advertising or doing something that I believe will harm others, I'll leave your comments out there even if I don't agree with or understand them. I will try to let you know I've seen them when possible and may reply if I feel it's reasonable, appropriate, and possible, of course. Thanks again for viewing this edition of the Daily Summation from Kurtz Politics. Don't forget to come back again for tomorrow's episode.